um, with my big truck. And we are going to go to uh, the shop here. I've got something in. I don't know if you guys remember in the last episode, um, I had uh, an issue where we just we needed to go to sell our uh, pallets. And we couldn't do that because the pallets were too tall um, for the sell point. So then we had to actually go get... Um, We had to go to this to grab one of our front loaders and bring it all the way over to the the place. And so anyway, here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna take this over to the shop, and I found a cool mod that will help us deal with this problem. Um, so yes. So we're heading over here to the shop. In our big truck, our big man truck. Or M-A-N, however you do it. So we're going to order one of these in, and you'll see it's pretty cool. We're going to get it in class colors, so to match the rest of the farm. I'm going to pull up here on their sidewalk because I'm a special driver. And we're going to go here. I'm not going to repair or customize. I'm going to buy something. <laughs> Imagine that. So we're looking at uh, flatbed trailers, low loaders. There's a bunch of cool low loaders on the Internet. Um, I've got – they're smaller, though, so I wanted a big one because we, obviously we're going to be pulling some of these uh, – right here like this the rim color is going to be class red as usual and without any imagination the top is going to be nope I don't want to purchase it yet I want to change the color class green imagine that And so we'll do that, and we're going to buy that unit, and it's only $31,000. It's actually not that bad for a big, you know, equipment hauler like that. So, and it matches our truck, which is cool. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab this. And we'll turn our beacons on, because now we're hauling it. This is a dangerously long load. It's a double trailer at this point. And by Euro rules, we need to kind of watch... So we can get this thing out without getting wrecked. So there's our new low boy. Pretty cool stuff. And I think that's pretty much all that's exciting that's going to happen today because we really, uh, we're kind of in a waiting game right now. Um, I definitely want to, uh, we've got the fields planted. So I think we're going to end up fast-forwarding time to get into uh, harvest season. Uh, I know that sounds kind of like a huge jump, but the, the way that this series is going to work is we're just going to keep, you know, moving forward on this farm and getting into different harvests. And, and that's our year really happens at the end of the year. We've got everything set up and planted. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, this coming year, we might plant, uh, I might plant oilseed radish as a cover crop to get a layer of fertilization that way. Um, it's hard. You have to kind of balance what it, you know, what it costs to do that. Uh, so we're going to pull up right here, and I'm going to lower, lower the gate. Now, if you guys notice, if you were on the stream the other night, um, you noticed that, and, and on the the uh, mid or my farm, the Ohio, I'm sorry, the county line farm. Um, there was a lot of stuttering going on. Interestingly, I had my my streaming software set to um, do both the the CPU and the NVIDIA card, and I found out that having both things set to the NVIDIA card actually does better frame rate wise, and I don't lose any quality. So it's kind of interesting. So don't don't use the PC as the main um, processor if you're getting frame rate issues. I was getting lots of frame rate issues. So now things are running smooth as silk, which is the way it should be. This laptop should definitely be able to handle all of that stuff. And once again, uh, thanks to Binpin who uh, provided that, helped us, you know, all, quite a bit to buy this laptop. Um, 
he really made it possible for us to do that. So. So we're going to pull up here and get onto the the Wago. <laughs> he said it's all in the family. <laughs> Uh, the working wipers are actually in the base game for uh, for uh, Farm Sim um, 19. So there we go. So there, our wagon. This fits on there perfectly. That's why I just wanted to test and show you. Uh, so we'll be using this to cart our, our uh, front loader around when we go to deliver pallets. That way we have a full system in place, and it only cost us 30000 bucks to... to have the trailer to be able to do that. All right, folks, so those of you that are watching on YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do some time fast-forwarding. I will can't, uh, catch you here and there as the season goes by, uh, but we're pretty much just going to fast-forward time at this point. I want to get to the point where we're harvesting, and, and uh, so we'll see you on the other end. All right, folks, we are pulling the horse out because we have some weeds growing, and also the, our crops have popped the first stage, so we're going to go ahead and grab... Um, we're going to kill the weeds, and then we'll fertil, uh, fertilize the whole field. So, Over here, well, this, is our, this is our pesticide, or our herbicide, so. Nope. I think i got to get closer, and I probably have to open it up. Let's try this. I'm not going to fill it up all the way because we're just spot killing. So I'm going to fill it up about halfway. And I might get one of those racks. Actually, it would be pretty cool. <laughs> I hate to spend money. But they've got those. those uh, that should be enough. Yep. There we go. Wow, 3000 bucks. Ouch. Uh, we have those racks that we can put in. I'd like to do that. Um, I don't know if the weeds will come back. Uh, like, if they're grown now, if that's all we get, or if more weeds will grow, like we, if we need to spray the whole field. But this is actually going to make fertilizing difficult, so I want to try to do as little as possible. Um, we're just going to... This is where the weeder would come in well. Um, see, because it makes the ground look wet, and then I can't tell what I've, what I've weeded and what I haven't. Or what I fertilized and what I haven't. There we go. <laughs> and there's that. Yeah, I think we need to get a, uh, an actual weeder next year. Because uh, this is kind of a waste of material to spray all of this spray and then only be doing like little sections. Um, I don't know, but maybe it's not. I guess we're when we do this, we're making the other parts immune because I think once you once you throw down weed eater, it'll kill all the weeds. Um, I suppose we could apply it when the fields are new, and then we never will get weeds if we do it if we <laughs> if we apply it first, uh, like when the crops are first planted. We're on weed patrol. We may not get them all, but we want to get most of them. This is where... Uh, yeah, Osa, Osa is saying that uh, three options. Do the whole field, kills the weeds for a year. Spot spray, kills just the weeds to prevent the... the in the places where they're weeding, like where we've seen, like what we just did, that's the spot. spot. No, we don't want to fold yet. Spot weeding <coughs> prevents the weeds in place, like where you spray. Or just ignore them because there's not that many weeds on the field and it's expensive. So I suppose at some point we could ignore them. I can't, though. I just don't feel that I'm able to ignore the weeds. I can't do it. <laughs> it's 
So we'll have to kill those weeds because Arthur can't handle them. I can't handle the weeds. So, uh... There we go. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and continue doing this, uh, but I want to let, guys let, you, let you guys know that this is what's happening, and then I will uh, we'll continue to record here in a couple minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and continue spot-checking these weeds, um, and we'll go from there. So see you guys in just a few minutes when we uh, do that. Somebody asked me what this is. Um, this sprayer is part of the Horsch Aggravation mod. Um, and uh, so if you have Horsch Aggravation, you'll have this sprayer in your kit. We're still weeding these fields. I thought you guys on YouTube would like to see what these uh, hops look like. They're at the first stage of growth, and we're putting herbicide down to kill the, 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 the weeds that have gotten out of control. And then we'll come back and fertilize uh, while we're still at the first stage of growth. Because we'll have one more spraying in here towards the middle of the, the crop. That we'll let it grow one more stage, and then we'll spray again. So, uh, all right. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys so you could see what they, that this is the horse aggravation sprayer. All right, folks. So we have finished spraying for weeds. I think I got them all. The downside is they probably will come back up, but we're going to just kind of ignore them from this point forward unless I can see them, and then we'll get them. But... Let's see here. Uh, we're going to go over here. and What I'm going to do, uh, we're going to take a look at that rack system. So we're going to park right here for now. And I'm going to, because we have a bunch of stuff that we need to put on racks. So let's go ahead to the farmhouse. and the, or It's probably under miscellaneous, I would imagine. I don't know exactly where they come in, but uh, let's see. There they are. Farm Products Liquid. Oh, it's got like a... Look at that. Oh, I wonder if it auto-loads them in. Um, can we put it inside the barn? That would be nice if we could... No, we can't. <laughs> of course not. Um, but I suppose... Where did, could this go over here? Yeah, it could. It could. Look at that. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll plop this right against the barn here. Pull it out a little bit. There we go. And so we're going to take this and we're going to drive it over here. Um, I think the, the someone was asking where I found that mods. It's a good question. Um, I believe I found them in the... Um, in the underplaceables in the mod hub and we're going to put some cement down here because i need to drive over there start landscaping and we're going to take painting uh how do i get over the painting uh, nope uh f1 uh change modification shape nope change landscaping mode x there we go and the ground type is going to be pavement and we're going to pave all the way over to our fence here. I hate to kill off this grass, but we need to make it so that our little forklift can get in here uh, without getting stuck. And there's that. And we're going to turn this all into pavement here. There we go. Very nice. Very very smooth and easy. Um, so those are those mods come from uh, from heck. No, I don't know where they come from. I don't know where they come from. <laughs> it comes from the uh in in the game in the uh what do you call it the uh the in-game mod hub, I believe. So we're going to grab this and there's some other stuff over there if you guys see there. I already had some fertilizer. We're going to put that over there. But we'll always go over there first and fill up. So we're done with the horse for uh actually we're not. We need to get filled up with fertilizer. I forgot. Tanker, thank you for the cheer. 
fill up liquid fertilizer. Well, that one's pretty full. Whoops. But that way, when I'm done, I can store that stuff over there. I might end up eventually putting a rack for solid stuff, too, over there. But for right now, we'll use this. Let's see. Start liquid fertilizer. Yep. And then we'll once we're done doing the spraying, we'll put the pallets over there. And uh, so there we go. Feared if you could give him the link to the map. So we're filling up with fertilizer, and we're going to go ahead and fertilize our fields. There's quite a bit to do. Uh, as you can see here, we've advanced to late spring, and we're getting our first phase in. Some of the fields, uh, one of the fields will be done, but two of the fields are going to need to have... Uh, two of the fields are going to need another run, so... There we go. So now we're going to put the fertilizer down and let this stuff grow. <laughs> Spray. Yay. And once we're done with this first pass, we're going to just check and make sure that it's reflecting our... It'll either be 99% or 66%. Let's see here. So just a test to see where we're at. Fertilized 100%. Yay! 0% weeds, 100% fertilization. That's what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and run down here and get this all sprayed and taken care of. Uh, this is going to suck because the field's a weird shape. <laughs> Dang it, why do they have to be these weird shapes? Alright. Fancy, fancy, fancy. I think, can we raise... I'm just curious, when we get to the hops, um, if we can raise and lower... I think you can raise and lower the booms on this, because as the hops grow, they're going to get... Hops get really tall, like taller than corn. Um, yeah, you can You can raise and lower the boom. That's cool. We're going to just run straight across here. I'm not... Even though we're not getting that side, I'm going to just run it across. And then come back. Ugh. It's a cup of tea time. All right. So you guys, will, we're going to take about a, uh, actually, we've been right, right up in an hour here. Uh, so we're going to take a more weeds. What? Uh, oh, well, we'll get them later. We're going to have to do a, a weed duty a little bit later. Um, but she's doing great. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this field fertilized. And I'm going to take a tea break here, make my wife some tea. And so I'll come back to you guys once I'm done fertilizing the fields, and we will continue to move on the march into summer and just kind of keeping track of our crops and caring for the crops and then, you know, getting them to the point where we can start production in our factory of the beer uh, and uh, go through it for our first year. So we're doing pretty well so far. we got plenty of money to make it through the the off-season, and uh, we should be able to make quite a bit of money at the end and... and uh, Start paying our... I think we have no loan at this point, so we should be okay. But, uh, yeah. All right. So, guys, I will be back in just a moment. We'll see you in a second on YouTube, and we'll... Here you go. All right, ladies and germs, I have fertilized my fields with this giant sprayer. We're done uh, doing all of it, and they still need another layer of fertilizer, if you will, which means that this field on the left here is done. But the other two fields are still going to need more. So uh, we have some more weeds creeping in. So I'm going to um, probably, I'll just empty these both out and we'll leave it empty and see what we do next. I think the next thing we'll do is we'll probably fertilize again. And then we'll weed one final time towards the end of the summer before the crops are done. So I 
Yep, I know. That's why I don't bake big orchards, <laughs> long hauler. It takes a long time to clear out the, the, the stuff on Farm Expert, so. Oh, <laughs> that's okay, K-Tigers. Welcome back. Have a good night, Captain Yogo. We'll see you next week. Sweet. Yeah, as we get into the later evening, people do go to bed, so. Though I have found that the late part of the evening, like the really late part of the evening, is when we start getting a lot more viewers, so. All right, so that's all clean. And we'll, it's doing okay equipment-wise, uh, health-wise, it's okay. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to dump... Uh, we're going to dump this off here. There we go. And I'm going to put this guy away. And we'll come back. We're going to park it. Going to park it. Sweet. There we go. So we're going to park that right there. So good job, Horsh. Great sprayer. Let's take our little Manitou and go ahead and get the... Uh, get our pallets. So I want to see how this works. What I'm thinking is you set them down and it, it fills up and puts them into the pallet array there. I don't think you actually set them on that. I, I have a feeling it fills up by itself, which... It's not great. It's not exactly what I wanted to do with it, but. There we go. Cortiva. Or is it probably Corteva? Let's see. So I'm wondering if I let's see if I set it down here. There it goes. <laughs> and so you probably have to wow, there it is. It's at the bottom shelf there. Now do I pick it up? So let's see. When I go to get it, do I pick that up or do I just Oh weird. See now it has us get get it out the other way. Oh no, you can't even reach it, can you? No, but so it's just visual. So you'll have to bring the, the unit back here to collect it, so. But I like it because it adds a little bit of realism. I, I, I thought you are going to stack them yourselves, but it's got a stacking zone. So that makes my life a little bit easier. It seems like they want us to pick pallets up from this side, so maybe I'll start doing that from now on. Maybe it'll be easier instead of them getting tangled. Nope, still doesn't pick them up. Look at that. Really? <laughs> and I can't set it down. <laughs> oh my gosh. These dumb pallets. Shoot. Well, we just bring it in and set it down. It'll go away. But that's why I got the mana, too, because I wanted to be able to move stuff around, shuffle it a little bit. So it's a little bit of cheaty, but it's also a little bit easy. Still allows us to use this without having to like, load each one separately on the shelves. And uh, so we're going to go over here and pick this last one up. And I'm going to do that. So we'll catch you guys when we have the next exciting action going on. But I'm going to start fast-forwarding time again so we can get into the series a little bit more and hopefully make our way out to harvest at the end of the summer. So see you in just a moment. All right, for those of you that are watching on YouTube, uh, one of my uh, Twitch viewers pointed this out. You can go up here and you can actually spawn the pallets. So you come in here and you click on the left trigger. And then I can get two pallets uh, out of here, and it'll it'll spawn them. And then I've got one pallet of herbicide and two pallets of liquid fertilizer. So you spawn them, and then it'll it'll pop them out here, and you can pick them up again with your your front loader and load them. So I thought that was pretty cool, uh, pretty neat stuff, huh? Oops, ladies and gentlemen on YouTube, we are about to. Uh, 
get ready here. We have reached summer, and we're going to pull some fertilizer out. Um, confirm it. And we're going to go ahead and take these out and put them uh, where the our sprayer can get at them. Bye, Violet. I love you. Have fun, honey. And we're going to grab this. Man, I probably will have to play that stupid game. Ugh, I don't want to play it. Violet wants me to play Roblox. Ugh. The worst game ever. It's like Gary's Mod meets Minecraft. No. I'll put these out here over by the fertilizer because we're gonna we're gonna also probably need more than what's in here. Like I said, any game that calls an obstacle course an obby, nope, can't do it. Oh, see this? There we go. It's pretty bad. Oh, it's bad. It's like the Fortnite of kids games. <laughs> No, there's a lot of people that like it. I mean, it's a really popular game. Just watch it on YouTube. There's a million YouTubers. It's like it's like Minecraft. There's a million YouTubers that do Fortnite or not Fortnite that do um, Roblox. I would much rather play Minecraft than Roblox. <sighs> Once again, it's not a bad game. I I just don't like those kind of games. It's it's reminiscent of Gary's Mod uh, for sure. All right, so we're gonna load up our sprayer and I'll you guys can take a look at the different crops we'll do some spraying out in the fields and get them all up to 100 percent now this middle field is already done so I don't have to redo that one but the two outside fields need to be sprayed oh I should probably move this out of the way and we're gonna pull this over here I can hear Alfie chewing his chew toy. I don't know if you guys are picking that up on the recording, but it's like... Ee -wee 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 -wee. All right, so let's get the sprayer out. And you can see here uh, it is summertime. The trees are very green, happy looking. Everything's uh, popping around us here. It's real cute, cutesy. Beautiful summer here in Holland. Oh, yeah, they really do look a lot greener. That's cool. This is my first time playing Seasons through in 19, really, into the summer. It's the first time I've been in the summer. It's pretty cool. And uh, so we pull these out of storage, and then I'll top off the... Because this is... I'm pretty sure we're going to need at least one full sprayer, so... We have a ton of different sprayers available in the game. This is just the one I chose. There's New Holland. Uh, Stara has one. Who else has them? Uh, is there a cloth sprayer? I don't think there's... Let's take a look at the shop. Someone's asking on my stream what sprayers we have, and I don't mind taking a minute to go ahead and take a look at the crop care management uh, systems. We have a Stara. The star is interesting. It's a little bit smaller, but it does both um, spray and solid fertilizer. The only thing it doesn't do is lime, so you still need to have something to spread lime. But it does both herbicide and f and liquid fertilizer and solid fertilizer, so it's a two-in-one unit. Um, the Rubicon is the biggest one in the game. It's got a huge uh, reach at 48.5 meters. Got an Amazon at 41. Um, these are all mods, though, but they're in the game menu. You have the Lieb, which is by Horsch. That's what we're using. And then you have a New Holland SPF 400F, or SP400F sprayer. And those are the, um, and these are all mods here, but um, there's some other ones in here. There, there are other mods out there, but these are the ones that are game-sponsored mods, so that's why I'm using them. I don't, I usually don't generally use mods that are outside of the mod hub. And even then, I'm pretty picky on them because, you know, some of them have bugs and I get angry. So, 
But the Hardy is the largest one. This one's close. I just wanted to use something different because I've used the Hardy on other maps before. So we are uh, going to go out to the edge of the field there and start on the other side and work our way in. This is our biggest field. It takes me about 30 minutes to do the two fields. Um, and so we're going to... We're going to get out there, and you guys can... I'll start it, and then I'll work for a little while off camera, and then I'll rejoin you guys as we get done. And, and uh, we also are going to go on weed patrol today. Uh, though I might wait for the weed patrol until more mid midsummer uh, because I want them to grow a bit more before I get out there and kill them. The only thing that's going to be tough is it's hard to see where I've sprayed and where I haven't on this field, so I might have to hire a worker. Um, the workers know where they're going. We'll have to see if I can... See, okay. I might just leave the weeds. There aren't that many weeds growing, it doesn't look like. Um, I think next time we can weed, we can just spray weed, spray down before we actually do any uh, crop growth. We can just put it all down. But then again, it's expensive, so it's almost better just to leave it. I don't know. Weed Patrol! Do 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 do. Yes, not that kind of no. Uh, anyway, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Looks like it looks like I should be able to do it myself. I can I can see where the the spray's been and where the spray hasn't been. So um, there we go. That is our. Uh, the nice thing is when we do the other crop, the um, oh my gosh, what's it called? The hop. Or hopfen. When we do our hops, we should be able to see nice clear lines because that grows like corn. It grows in uh, rows. So we should be able to see the, the line nice and clearly. This is a little bit harder. You can see the line down the front of the, the sprayer here, and I'm just going to stick to this row. But the, the way that the wheat grows, it's a little harder to see clearly where your center line is. Um, but I'm following that line to do the spraying, and I'm already off to kilter a little bit. There, we picked it up again. So, all right, I'm going to get this done, guys. We will see you uh, on YouTube uh, in a little bit here, but we're going to keep going with this. Actually, yeah, we'll f keep going for a little bit longer. I'll make this a little bit longer episode. Once we're done spraying for the summer, because this is our final coating of fertilizer, we will call it an episode on YouTube. So we'll be back in a few moments. All right, for those of you on YouTube that are watching this, uh, I just wanted you guys to see what the hops look like as we're as we're plowing through them here with the sprayer. I've got the sprayer at full extension up because these are really tall. Hops grow really tall and they'll get even bigger uh, when we go to do the harvesting. They'll be, you know, they still have another stage of growth to go. So um, it's, um, they're going to get big. Uh, but you can see here, these are their, it's a very dense crop. I wonder if you could use hops if they'd be good for silage. Um, I don't know if they would or not, but it seems like they probably would be. Um, but anyway, this is what the hops look like. So I thought I'd share that with you guys on uh, YouTube so you can see as I'm doing my work here what it looks like. And, and I do, uh, I'm do. i using the center line to, to do my fertilization so I get it lined up at the end of the field and then I, I just stay, I keep my nose on this center line here and that way I'm getting the full coverage for the field. So uh, we'll see you guys when I'm done uh, and we'll wrap up. But uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen on YouTube, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to clean this guy and put it away. And uh, once again, we got the whole field, all three fields done. They're all fertilized for the most part. There are some spots that aren't, but that's just how uh, the new uh, mod works, the Seasons mod. So, um, yeah, so anyway, we're going to put these pallets away. I'm going to wash the... Oh, I'm looking for my wash station. It's over here. Uh, and put this away. So hopefully you guys enjoyed another fast-paced... Um, uh, episode here uh, of Farm Sim as we kind of flew through a bunch of different days of the year and got our fields really into a position where they're moving towards uh, the end of the year and where we're going to end up uh, doing our seasons and doing our beer when we get into the, the fall. So uh, we'll do our harvesting here soon and, and get all that collected. And uh, Anyway, hopefully you've been, been enjoying this class farm series as we uh, kind of demo the class equipment along with this cool new uh, 
uh, brewery. So have a great night, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And uh, I love you guys. Glad you're here and enjoying the series. Bye.